Well, the National Dialogue on Coalition Governments kicks off at the University of uh, the Western Cape this morning. It is convened by the Deputy President and Leader of uh, Government Business, Paul Mashatile. President Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to deliver the keynote address. For more on this, Samkelo Maseko now joining us. Samkelo, I see that a number of delegates are streaming in. Tell us what you can see from your end. Well, Aldrin, the president may no longer be delivering the opening address. It may be now opened by the president, by the deputy president Paul Mashatile. We've also seen the deputy, former deputy president Khalema Mutlante. We've seen the federal chairperson of the Democratic Alliance, Helen Zilla. They are here. We've also seen Velenko Sihabi, so the president of the IFP. We've seen the Good Party. We're yet to see the ANC, any of the ANC officials here at this point in time. But we have seen a number of their delegation, which will be led by their secretary general Figile Mbalula. We've also seen David Makuram, Zwadila Masina, and also seen public representatives from various provinces and also some premiers. But I'm going to bring in the DA Chief Whip, Ms. Sivue Kwarube, just in essence to speak on the DA's position. Ms. Kwarube, just the essence of the DA's position on this National Coalition Dialogue. What is the DA's stance? What is the DA's position? Look, our view, Samgele, is that uh, unstable coalition governments ha are essentially the, the biggest loser in unstable coalition governments have been the citizens of the country and citizens of cities. And so our view is that if there's any attempt and any effort to sit down and have a dialogue and have concrete solutions about how we can start stabilizing coalition governments, then we want to be part of it. We are not part of the school of thought that says that we should abandon this um, and that we should boycott this. We wanted to come here because we have been working over the past year on a raft of pieces of legislation that we've introduced in Parliament on how we can seek to stabilize coalition governments. And so that's exactly what we'll be using this platform for today, to table our solutions, to implore other political parties to support it. When you look at some of the legislation that is being proposed, the introduction of thresholds, what is the DA stance, particularly knowing that smaller parties like your PAs, like your ATMs, like your action essays, they are dictating to bigger parties within these particular coalition arrangements in metros and in local councils. Do you support the introduction of this threshold? Look, when one looks at uh, international best practice, one can see that international thresholds have been used as a stabilization tool. And so our view is that at a local, provincial and an even national level, uh, national thresholds could be really useful way to stabilize coalition governments. It cannot be that the tail wags the dog, as we have seen in the city of Johannesburg, where we have a one-seat or a three-seat party leading a coalition um, in, in that fashion. And so our view is that elect electoral thresholds are a stabilization tool, and we look forward to hearing some of the of, of the proposals from other political parties. Last question to us before the program starts. The DA stands on the ongoing Texas strike within the city of Cape Town. We've seen the mayor, Gordon Hill Lewis, coming down like a ton of bricks, saying that the rule of law must be enforced and criminality will not be accepted. What is the day's stance on it? Absolutely. Look, I mean, the, 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 the saddest thing here is that it, it, is, uh, it is the commuters who are actually um, at, uh, bearing the brunt of the strike, and we hope that there can be a deal brokered between the city and, um, and Santaco so that it can put an end to the strike. Thank you very much, Mr. Vihurube, who is the DA's chief whip. The program is about to start now, Elgin. We have to cut this particular broadcast.